recent changes in the Australian visa and immigration system you need to be aware of. Australia has introduced several significant changes to its visa and immigration system that potential migrants need to be aware of. These changes range from visa validity extensions and fee increases to new visa programs and stricter financial requirements. This video update highlights the key updates and their implications for various visa categories. Topics discussed Extension of Business Visitor Visa Increase in Citizenship Application Fees Easier Conditions for Migrant Workers Inclusion in Work Holiday Visa Program Increase in Temporary Skilled Migration Income Threshold Introduction of New National Visa Suspension of Working Holiday Visa for China Increase in Savings Requirement for Student Visas And lastly, TOEFL Test Results Accepted Get up-to-date immigration information by subscribing to our channel. Con. Press the bell icon and share our videos on Facebook, WhatsApp, and X with your friends and family. Extension of Business Visitor Visa The validity of the Business Visitor Visa for nationals of ASEAN countries and Timor-Leste has been extended from 3 to 5 years. This change benefits applicants from countries like Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia, who can now apply for multiple entry visas valid for a longer period. Increase in Citizenship Application Fees Starting July 1, 2024, Australia increased its citizenship application fees. For individuals aged 18 to 59, the fee rose from $540 to $560. Fees for citizenship through adoption also saw an increase. This change reflects the government's effort to adjust costs based on application type and individual circumstances. Easier conditions for migrant workers. The grace period for certain visa holders, including the subclass 482, temporary skill shortage visa, and subclass 457 visa, has been extended. These visa holders now have up to 180 days to find a new sponsor, or apply for a different visa, offering more flexibility than the previous 60-day period. Inclusion in Work Holiday Visa Program Nationals of the Philippines can now participate in the Work and Holiday Visa Program, subclass 462. This expansion aims to foster cultural exchange and work opportunities for Filipino citizens in Australia. Increase in Temporary Skilled Migration Income Threshold As of July 1, 2024, the Temporary Skilled Migration Income Threshold, TSMIT, increased from $70,000 to $73,150. This change ensures that temporary skilled migrants receive a salary that aligns with market standards. Introduction of New National Visa Australia introduced the New National Innovation Visa, replacing the Business Innovation and Investment Visa and the Global Talent Visa. This new visa aims to attract exceptionally talented migrants high-performing entrepreneurs, and global researchers, providing a permanent pathway for these individuals. Suspension of Working Holiday Visa for China Australia has suspended the Working Holiday Visa program for nationals of China, India, and Vietnam. These nationals will now participate in lottery-style bids for the visa, adding an element of chance to the application process. Increase in savings requirement for student visas From May 10, 2024, the minimum savings requirement for student and guardian visas increased to $29,710 Australian dollars. This change aligns with a proportion of 75% of the minimum salary in Australia, ensuring that students have adequate financial support during their stay. TOEFL test results accepted Effective May 5, 
2024, TOEFL test results are accepted for all Australian visa purposes. This decision reinstates TOEFL as a valid proof of English proficiency, beneficial for students and professionals seeking visas in Australia. Conclusion These changes to Australia's visa and immigration system reflect the government's ongoing efforts to balance the country's welcoming nature with practical economic and social considerations. Potential migrants should stay informed and adjust their plans accordingly to navigate these new regulations effectively. Our video ends here. If you found this video update useful then please share it with your friends and family on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Thanks for watching today's video update.